Welcome to Spa Kingdom. So you just got your new American Whirlpool Spa, or you just kind of want a little bit of a refresher on how to maintain your top side and how to do the different functions uh, and make different adjustments on it. So if you want to step right over here, what we're going to do, uh, your very first adjustment on here is going to be your heat. So you can set it up by just pressing these little arrows back and forth, and that's going to either raise or lower your temperature. You've got your regular light settings, which is going to you just hit your light button and it's going to cycle through all of your different light settings until you get to the particular color that you enjoy or you get to the cycle where it cycles through all of the different colors. You've got your Bluetooth sound system, which you can turn on and off just by a push of a button. You can increase the volume, decrease, even skip the songs, play back and forth. Um, if you click this guy right here, you can even make adjustments with uh, the sound. So you can do equalizer, you can repeat a song if you like, or shuffle through all of them. There's a lot of different adjustments you can make with that. Then if you go right back out to the main menu, what you can do, this is going to be uh, where you're going to control all of your jets. So you've got jet pump number one, which is a two-speed motor, jet pump number two, which is a two-speed motor, and you can adjust those by just hitting it uh, once or twice. Once is going to bring it on low, twice is going to put that jet on high. You also have your light function on here as well. If you move right back here, what we're going to do is go into the settings now. This is going to be where it's going to be really helpful for you guys. If it is during the summertime and you don't want your hot tub to heat because it's so darn hot out here in Florida, what you can do is go into your heat mode and instead of having it in ready mode, you can put it in rest mode and put your temperature range on low. What that's going to do is it's going to keep the spa from heating so that you can keep it kind of a cool pool or whatever the ambient temperature is. Now, if you do want to heat just a little bit, um, under 99 degrees, you can leave it in the low temperature range and keep it in ready mode and it'll maintain your temperature uh, and get as hot as 99 degrees as far as your settings go. If you want to click it on high, you can heat it up to 104 degrees and be hot and ready either during the summer or during the winter. So we'll click right back out of here. This is your filtration times. So. A lot of people call us here at Spa Kingdom and want to know how to make adjustments on their filtration cycles. You're just going to go right here in the filtration menu. You're going to start right here and end on this bottom number down here. Right now we have it set for 6 a.m. to 9 a.m., which is a three-hour duration for this particular spa. And then in the evening from 9 p.m. to 12 a.m. Now if you want to make adjustments on that, oh, We'll go right back in there. Um, just click on the actual number itself and then you can adjust it up and down. Once you get it exactly where you want it, uh, and also pay attention to the AM and PM because if you set it from 6 AM to 6 PM, it'll run, and, you know, it'll run for 12 hours at a time. If you set it from 6 AM to 6 AM, it'll run 24 seven. So as soon as you get it where you want it, just click that little check mark. And when it turns green, you know that you've got it set. Uh, this guy right here is very helpful as well. If uh, Your little hold button, if you're needing to go through and hold all the operations in your spa so that you can clean your filter, um, or if you need to make slight adjustments in the water, or get a water sample, you can hit that hold button and it'll hold it for up to an hour. So you can get anything in the spa done that you need to. Click right back and it's operational again. Here at Spa Kingdom, we try to make things as easy as possible for you. There's this little button that is called a reminder. So you can set the reminders on and off. And what that'll do is once a month, it'll tell you to remember to trip your breaker by using this little function right over here. Um, you've got your utilities right here. What you want to do once a month is test your GFCI. What you're going to do going to do is just click that guy and it'll trip your breaker to make sure that everything's operational and working properly. So we're going to back right back out of this. There's also a lock button. Most of the time you're not going to have to worry about this, but if you have the grandkids over, just click that lock button. Um, if you want to lock your settings only so that they can't mess around with the heat, just 
click that until it says lock settings and then you're going to hold right here on the lock button for about 10 seconds until you see it turn a different color. There we go. Now it's locked. To unlock it, simply click on it again and then hold right here for 10 seconds and then it'll bring it right back out and unlock it again. The same operation goes for your regular panel lock too so that they can't mess with any settings on there. Or those nosy neighbors who know that you're on vacation or you're away, they want to use your hot tub, lock the panel so they can't get in there. And that's going to be the majority uh, of your settings. There is this one little guy right here, your cleanup cycle. Whenever you turn your spa on and it's been running for 15 minutes, it thinks that you've used it. So you have, right now this guy's set up for half an hour duration for a cleanup cycle. So after that 15 minutes that you've been in there, it'll automatically turn itself on for half an hour to make sure that it gets all the body oils and everything out of the spa. Now you can bring it up, so if you've had friends and family in there and you really want it clean, just bring that duration up, click that green button, and you're good to go. So if you have any other questions on how to uh, make adjustments on your spa with the top side or any other questions, feel free to give us a call here at Spa Kingdom or stop by the store and we'll help run you through anything that we need to with the spa.